Tech Dakota from LaSalle University, and we're going to talk about how we re really utilize Argos to support strategic initiatives, particularly with retention. So this is what I'm going to go over today, uh, a brief background of LaSalle and our history with Argos specifically, and also looking at the idea of retention and concerns in regards to retention and how we can work across the institution, across different departments and different divisions, and how Argos really plays a role in being able to work with our data and help our end users get to the inf information they need and um, work together to help our students. And I'll touch on a few next steps of what we're trying to do and how Argos plays a role with that. So LaSalle University is located in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We're a, a smaller, uh, private Catholic institution, about 5,000, 6,000 students. Um, uh, and we are a banner school. We've had banner for about 20 years. Uh, we have a decentralized reporting structure, meaning that each of the different modules have um, functional experts who would do the, a lot of the reporting and so forth. So it was great we had these individuals who were experts with banner, experts with procedures, but what was lacking was um, the BI type reporting. Uh, and so the institution decided to go to Argos in 2010 with the hope that we can kind of push some of those reports forward. Um, what happened was some areas got really good at it and some areas you know, weren't able to do it because they were stuck in the day-to-day -day activities and so forth. So maybe if we had done a better job trying to push it out with a better project plan, it would have uh, done gone better, but at this point now we're trying to help all the other areas catch up so we can fully utilize the product. Here's an example of what we do at LaSalle with Argos at the moment. We use it both for operational day-to-day -day, um, purposes. You know, we can pull up, uh, we do some um, creating letters, uh, mail merge uh, documents, um, scheduling, schedules, looking up information through in Banner that people might not have access to because they don't, they can't get into Banner. Um, and we also use it for strategic purposes, look, having dashboards that show um, emissions information with nice charts and drill down information to farther detail so they can really go in and uh, figure out what's going on. Uh, we don't have any other type of BI tool like Tableau or Power BI on campus, so we do everything using Argos. So that brings me to uh, retention specifically and how Argos plays a role in that. So. Um, as we use Argos to help with our retention issues, I see three things that really happen, which is really great in my opinion. Uh, one thing is establishing data standards. Um, when we talk about retention, sometimes we have confusion because people, the very first thing that comes up is when we talk about fall 2017 retention, half the room thinks we're talking about the fall 16 cohort retained to fall 17, the other half thinks we're talking about fall 17 to fall 18. When you start pushing Argos reports out, they're all standardized. People start realizing when, you, realizing when you say fall 17, you're talking about the fall 16 retained to fall 17, and that's the way the institution recognizes it, and that's the way the departments start talking about it. So in terms of data standards and data governance, it really helps with that. Um, and of course, that happens with the, the dissemination of information. We have data blocks, reports, that if we feel these departments need to work together, we can either give them the same version if it's appropriate, or we can give them adjusted versions if they're not supposed to see certain things based on um, security per, uh, concerns and so forth. Um, on top of that, when we give people data blocks where they can really drill down and see the information, we start seeing something that I think is great. We see the people taking ownership of the data, taking ownership of different projects, because now they don't have to ask an analyst or ask someone to pull a report for them. They have it right in their fingertips. And, they, and we can design reports where they can really see different things with different filters and so forth, so they can really drill down and kind of explore ideas and come up with questions and take that farther. And we also have people who start, you know, they, for example, we have more people on campus who really know how to use pivot tables, and I think that might be because of Argos, because they kind of see if they start getting stuff together, they can pull things together, so it's really great to see that, like just some small steps like that. Um, I just want to start some screenshots of some of the dashboards we use for retention. Uh, we've developed maybe, I would say, on maybe about like eight or so dashboards. That first one on the left is um, the very first one we developed for the freshman retention committee when we first started worrying about retention a lot. Uh, and that lets them really just explore the data, gives them the option to look at different variables, click on different fields and filter, and really see the difference between retention, maybe like if the student had a 2.5 GPA compared to a 3.5, um, maybe look at the sciences, science majors, the STEM majors versus the humanities. Um, so it let them go in there and kind of explore and come up with questions because the committee need to, need to understand the historical data and come up with questions that they need to explore and you know research further. 
On the right-hand side, the Student Affairs dashboard, it's available to them. They're still using it now. Um, they can see the cohort. They can see how their, the year-to-date retention rates are um, and also drill down and, and actually see the students. And if they're working on different initiatives, maybe like with resident students, they can see who they are and work with them and, and reach out to them if there's some type of initiative going on. Um, one, one great thing about Argos is the scheduling uh, feature. You can schedule to do a lot of different things. It's a very powerful tool or piece of Argos. What we use it for in regards to retention, one, one thing we use it is to have weekly scheduled reports for different end users because, as I said, some people really get into dashboard and really use it. Other ones say, oh, it looks pretty, it looks nice, and never open it. So what we do is we force them to look at the data by sending them a weekly schedule, scheduled report that summarizes information. Actually, this morning my phone went off on five different reports that went off, including one that went to the cabinet about our freshman cohort and how they're retaining since registration had opened a couple of weeks ago. Uh, so these are some of the older ones that we did back in the day. Um, and people like to see them so they keep on top of what's going on and they know what's going on. And every single email that goes out with these weekly reports has a link back to their dashboard so they can go back and explore the data. So as you know, we started that really diving into uh, retention and we did a little statistical analysis and so forth and started storing some of that data in our database and banner. And from there, we just started building more dashboards, more reports that our end users, users can really do. So this is a summary report that uh, the dean's offices use, the provost offices use, the assistant director retention, um, really to keep track of what's going on with our different students, our different at-risk category, stu uh, category students, and um, really being able to see the patterns and um, drill down farther. Um, you can pop up and have pop-ups show up with more detail and really uh, look at what's going on with a different school compared to one school and see um, if there's a need to do something. Or maybe you're following an initiative and trying to keep track of that. Um, this is actually a drill down from the, that previous page. Uh, if you do any type of research on retention, engagement is a huge factor for retention. So we are trying to try and track involvement as best we can at LaSalle. And um, we can see right away how the cohorts are being involved compared to the year before. We can see different groups. And this is an example of a page where our assistant director saw this and noticed right away um, where there was a big gap with the uninvolved students. So she was pushing to create some type of initiative to try to get this group of students more involved on campus. Um, and talking about initiatives, uh, you know, if you have initiatives that are tight, you can add attributes if you're a banner school. Um, you can add attributes in banner to uh, your students. You can, maybe if it's tied to an emit code or tied to a major, it could even be tied to a class because that's one of our initiatives, it's tied to a specific class. You can design your report so your drop down has that in there. So you can bring that uh, initiative down, that cohort down, and we have this, those specific um, data points we want to track, and we can keep track and see, measure how, how the initiative is going, how well is it doing, are we succeeding and meeting our goal, are we kind of behind, is it doing better than we expected? So that's all designed through the report. Another thing too, um, we, the other ones were very like broad-based, we can go very specific, make a student profile. Um, this is an example of what we have at the moment. We're still working on it. We have a beta form like it's released to a few people on campus. This is not released to everybody, it's just to people who are part of like a retention team. So they can really all see the same data because the concern was financial aid is access to something, student affairs is access to something, but they don't all have access to the same thing. So we're trying to create a report for those people on the retention team so that they can all see the same data and react to the same information. One feature that actually is on the beta version that's not listed here is that we have an option to add a note to a custom table so that anyone who has access to this dashboard can write a note in there and they all see it because sometimes people don't have access to degree work so they don't have access to um, the banner um, uh, Space Mountain, I don't really know the form, but uh, uh, where the comments are. So um, this way we can put it all in the same place so they can all see it if they're working with that student. On the right is one student, on the left is another student. Uh, what we do here is um, based on what we want to stand out to the end user, it changes color if, you know, the one on the left obviously needs more attention than the one on the right. Um, uh, there's always debate on the colors in case by accident a student does see it, it's concerning, so we might want to change that up a little bit. So that's all being talked about because, as I said, only one person really has access to it on campus and we're trying to roll it out to the right people at the moment. Um, so going forward, we do want to try to improve that freshman profile. We actually, what we want to do, we saw on the co-op, uh, 
the eVisions Co-op, another school has the ability to pull in um, pictures from the from the um, the directory. So we're trying to do that as well. Uh, we just need to set up the connection to make it work. Uh, we want to increase scheduling. We want to try to make sure that we can uh, look at different data points um, and be able to react to the data because we can run we can run a report and we can say, see right away like if students don't do well in this one in this one class at this one test uh, like maybe from Canvas data we can have a schedule just to run that and read that information and pull it up right away. Uh, so also that is tied to integrating with other data sources. We need, we're trying to find a way to make sure we can get other things outside of DegreeWorks and um, Banner. We want to expand to um, our LMS and uh, our Grace First that we're using at the moment. And it really comes down to what our strategy is, what our initiatives are, and what offices we want to work with. And based off of that, once we figure that out, we're going to make a report that can help them get their job done. So that's what we're doing with Argos at LaSalle at the moment.